the new spirituality is actually very selfish. It's a lot all about me, me, me. It's not about other people. It's all about me getting what I want. So it's really very ego, ego base. It's kind of ugly. It hides itself behind a pretty mask, but it's really ugly because it's all about me getting whatever I want. You have to be very alert and awake in this time and not fall asleep. Because we've been sleeping for a long time. It's time to, to wake up. This is the time. It's happening. And if you want freedom and you want to be happy, then you need to expand because both freedom and happiness is already here. It's available. It's in your field. The reason you don't see it or experience it is because you're too focused on that sense that you need to control things. You need to know things. It's my life. It's the, the all the stuff versus ah oh, expanding okay all right i don't know i don't know anything let's see what comes what life has for me yeah it's kind of fearful especially if you have a very strong structured western mind mentality that i have to know everything now you're shifting into not knowing and it's scary initially, only initially, but you have to go through your fear. You have to just go for it or stay where you're at and suffer. And nothing to lose by giving something a try and giving a nice, fair try to see what happens. But my experience was that as I started to discover this, that I let go and I'm just pulling back, especially now that I'm traveling, I'm here in Mexico, there's a lot of things to do and a lot of things to figure out. And whatever you need to do, you're going to change your hotel, you need to figure things out. You're gonna get a motorcycle, rent a motorcycle. It takes half a day. You know, you gotta go figure out what to do, everything. You have to figure things out constantly. And, uh, but in the midst of it, it's been very clear to me that by kind of pulling back and not really force things to happen even though at the moments you feel like, what am I doing? I'm wasting my day. I'm not doing my homework. I'm not doing my research. Why am I hanging out for two days at the beach and not doing anything or drinking a beer? Your mind comes and says, okay, you gotta go look at this. You gotta go look at that. You gotta go check this out. But by recognizing that being in the space, all of a sudden, everything I need, it really comes to me. I'm not really, all of a sudden, some, someone appears to me, and we're sitting there having a beer, da, 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 and then they say, oh yeah, I have a motorcycle shop, I rent motorcycles, and all of a sudden, I go rent a motorcycle, which is 40% cheaper than everybody else's. And I met this guy on the beach having a beer together. So I didn't really go look for it. It just came to me. Or you're just relaxing, you're there, you're pulling back, you're in a restaurant. You meet a real estate agent and you've been wanting to find a real estate agent to go look at some apartments. And there she is. So, and that's the way, these are the secrets of universe. This is how it works. But these are not things that 
it's very difficult uh, for a lot of people to understand because they're not always black and white. We want to find a formula and apply this formula to life to manipulate life so things go your way. And you need to catch yourself because that leads into suffering and that leads into this sense of I am separated from existence. There's an me, this I, and I'm only happy when I get what I want. And there's always got these ups and downs constantly. <clears throat> and you want to get rid of that and you want to come back into this place which is steady it's balanced there's no spikes in it and then to receive the juice of life to receive really the pearls of life the magic of life and these are only you discover in the mystery schools you can't read it on a book because when you read you're reading the lines. You're reading the lines in a book. The magic of life is not in the lines. It's in between the lines. It's not what you're reading. The secrets are not, they're hidden in front of your eyes. So you have to let go of this imaginary sense of control and always have to know into this more chilled out, laid back, kick back attitude, even though your mind keeps coming and says, no, I need to know this. I need to know that I need to. You need to shift and, and that shift expand. You pull back in that pulling back an expansion starts to happen and it sinks you into the moment of the, of life. And then all of a sudden the moment begins to give you these pearls. I mean, you can sit down and read 50 books as some of you in, in spirituality, a thousand books, but it's not something, this is not like a knowledge. This is not like information you read and you memorize and you're done. That's not it. Don't treat this like that. If you treat it like that, you're making a huge mistake and you're missing out on a tremendous opportunity for transforming. These are hints, hints of directing you into this space of within yourself where freedom is. Because the mind wants to understand everything and it wants information. What I'm referring to you is the mind cannot understand what I'm saying. It won't get it. You have to do it on your own. And then it reveals itself to you. 